Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. And it looks like we have an interesting little incident here. Let's go ahead and take care of these Uruks, and then I'll let you know what we're going to be doing this episode. We've got a Legend of the Bow. <laughs> Run! Be free! We got a Legend of the Bow right here in this area, as well as a piece of Ithildin, or Thildin. And uh, we should be clear with this area, and then we'll just go ahead and clear the fern outskirts next, and just start knocking out some of these uh, side quests and relics and all this. And then we'll do a storyline in the next episode, and we'll just keep on going like that. So, um, it's interesting that we have a bow quest in the middle of this pit. I guess we'll see what this is all about. Oh, there's a cave with some of the blue mushrooms that we need. Let's see if we can pull this off without attracting any unwanted attention. And we might as well go ahead and get that rune while we're here. And we need three pieces of blue milk. We got a entryway up here? Or Is there anything we have to destroy? Can't run that way. Well, that's weird. Unless this is the path that we take. Ah! Okay. I'm a genius. Well, if we find one more uh, blue milk, we'll be set. And then all we need is the uh, Elgarin. Whoa! Was this a church? Or a temple or something like that? Oh, it might be just a tomb. Either way, that's pretty awesome. There you are. Got part of his uh, shoulder and arm done now. Okay. Now we can get out of here and get back to business. And get down into that pit and kind of figure out what's going on here. And that is not the way out. This is the way out. Aha! I'll tell you what, I am just not into it today, apparently. The hidden outpost, stocked with the enemy's incendiary weapons, also teemed with other dangerous creatures. He knew he could remove both threats by using one against the other. Alrighty, what's our brief? Enter the cave. Well then. Oh, it's gra Oh, it's ghouls. Lure ghouls into the burrows. Hello, friends. How are you? This way, please. Kill 50 ghouls with explosions. Only detonate 5 barrels. Hells bells. Okay. There's 13. And yeah, we gotta wait for a, a bigger collection here. Go away, all of you. Eh. Quit nibbling me to death. And maybe the wraith makes me uh, immune to uh, fire? I only do a little bit of damage there. Now I don't think we're going to get the bonus thing of only using five barrels. That, that was three right there. We never going to catch me! 
Okay, gather round, gather round. This is gonna hurt. 43? Oh, I might be able to. Just chill right here. Wait for our seven. That's definitely more than seven. And complete. Excellent. Now we'll just take out the stragglers. And there we go. Unfortunately, there are all kinds of uh, mushrooms and such we can use to restore our health and get our elf shot back up. This is definitely a good place to stage an ambush. And good as new. So this area is now clear currently. And we've got some Ithildan and an artifact right here on this bridge outside the cave. Oh, I want to thank... Oh, uh, I forgot who actually said it in the comments. But the flies are actually... Um, Spies of Saruman. I was not aware that that was one of Saruman's names, so... He was already had his fingers in a lot of pies here. Even before um, his treachery was revealed. Did you just kill that guy? Oh, you did? Hi, how you doing? No, don't you run. I really want to knock you off of a cliff. But, there you go. That technically counts. I hope Bob is alright. He took a bad fall, but... Bobs are tough. They can... They can do it. They can pull it off. And... Chan ah, chances are both the relic and the rune are down here and there's our last blue milk too on the radar so close we can get an upgrade let's uh, get this relic first and then we'll see what that's all about within the land of shadow Relic? Ooh. We have a chance to make Big Boom. We shall go make Big Boom. And... Boop. And that's nice that you had your shield up there, guy. Didn't help you there, though. Now then, if I was a relic, where would I be? Not with you. I guess you are under the bridge. Ah, there you are. You're in this little alcove with the mushroom. What do we got? Scrimshaw, Mumak Tusk. This carved tusk commemorates the conclusion of an epic hunt. Here we see two dwarves. The first is wielding a mighty axe and striking a deadly blow against a giant mumak. The other, who appears to be his twin, flees from the beast in a panic. The quality of the workmanship indicates the artist was a master craftsman under the influence of strong ale. Now I wonder who did the running. Let's find that point. Yeah, that's a typical big brother right there. 
Okay, good stuff. Let's see what our upgrades are. And... Well, we can't get a new bow currently. Actually, let's go ahead and save up for that, for our max elf shot up, because that's going to be handy. And then we'll get a bunch of really cool stuff. Storm of Urfael, which I believe we already have. Flame of Azkar, and Shadow of Akarn. This Torvan does not seem to know his limitations. He is not one to wait for his fate to come to him. He rushes to meet it. Well, I bet fate appreciates that. Saves time. Blue milk? Blue milk. Now we need two of the red flowers. And that'll be done. Stellar. Let's get an artifact, and we got a trial by ordeal that we can interrupt. And then two legends of the bow. So I guess this is going to be a range-based level up episode. And the artifact is up there on the in the tower. And this isn't a stronghold, so. Hello? I like being brutal. Just more shenanigans from our dwarven friends. Gondorian coin. Merchants across Middle Earth know if it's Gondorian, it's good. And they freely accept these silver pieces, known as Castar, as currency, trading them across the civilized realms and with almost all the races of Middle Earth. This particular coin likely made its way into Mordor through that realm's primary trade route, the Sea of Nurnan. Fair enough. No one necessarily wants Gondor's coin. Are you Wealth will not save Gondor. Uruk do not care for trinkets. Sauron will use gold to buy allies among the kingdoms of men. And let's interrupt a trial here. And this is Horza the Corrupter, power of 14, elite captain. Okay, chances are really good you're immune to ranged. Yes, indeed. Let's see what the kitty can do. Trial by ordeal resolved. Ugh. Is that, oh, did he one-shot the... Holy crap! That's impressive. Okay, well, we're gonna... Invulnerable to stealth, too. Are you in fire range? We will avoid that. For sure. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Nice. He's affected. Come here. No. Come back here, Corruptor. Gotta use our rate speed. And it looks to be probably the only way we're gonna be able to give him any kind of damage. And come back here so I may brain thee. Okay, I want to get some speed. There we go. Out of the way, Pex. Ah. 
Where is he? Is he over there now? Man. We were so close to him. That was my bad for, uh... Mm. Curses. Actually, we've got a worm right here. Let's see what we can do about getting some uh, much-needed intel. And this time, not... Um, pushing him off. There we go. And let's get some intel on where his location is. There he is. Damaged by combat finishers and a fear of burning. That's the only thing that he has. You are dismissed. And I think he fell away. <laughs> Either way, he's okay. So apparently he's up here. I th I believe that's what the intelligence said. Yeah, he's in the uh, Nurnan Peninsula. I guess we'll have to wait to take him on, unfortunately. But it's alright. We got two more bow legends. So let's go ahead and get to it. But first, there's one of the flowers that we need. Because, you know, herbs. And it looks like Kitty's fighting... Oh no, Karagor is out. Yeah, Thang Taloth is clear. Let's see what this is about. It looks like we have some sandbag um, barricades made. This could be kind of cool. He led his attackers into an explosive trap. The destruction could be seen from the slopes of Orodruin. I'm sensing a theme here. Kill 30 Uruks with barrel explosions. Don't get hit. Well, that's... That's fine. We can... Oh, that's why we have the barricades. I see. That's why they're doing that. And that is a lot of nonsense behind me. Oh, goodness. Look at that. Ow. Well, I got hit. <laughs> there went the bonus objective. And elf shot is needed. Well, we've got 20. This is good. And I just got shot in the face. Where am I getting shot from? Ah! Turning into a pincushion is what's happening to me. Two more. There we go. I'll take it. Oh lord, and all you guys are still here. Flee! Just because I am not dealing with that. And we had a new quest that just opened up to us. Oh, we got a revenge quest as well. Vendetta. By killing Feldusk the Bitten. Or Feldush, the biter. <laughs> Not the bitten. That's kind of an interesting thing for an orc. Horza the Corruptor's Beast Hunt. Alright. 
Well, let's go ahead and uh, keep our eyes on the prize here for this zone. And after we clear that, depending if we have the time, we'll see about ruining the Corruptor's Day. We'll run over there and see what we can do. And we are still being pursued by what's left of those archers. Ranger of Ithilien. Or Ithilien. Ah, uh, Tolkien, you and your pronunciation. And we should be done with this zone too, except for um, slave quests that pop up. There is no escape. He watched as the creature chased down his enemies. He ensured they never reached the safety of their stronghold. No explosions this time. Allegedly. Let no Uruk cowards reach Fort Morn. Oh, good lord. I wouldn't call them cowards, I would call them sensible. Considering what they're running from. I like that it's Fort Morn. Like, uh, the guy from DS9. Who was based off uh, Norm from Cheers. Well, that one was easy. So we are now clear with this zone. You know what that means, guys. We're going to interrupt the beast hunt. And see, maybe... If we can ruin a Corruptor's Day. Bad kitties? Well, good kitties, because they're killing Uruks, but it'll be bad if they attack me. We'll thread the needle over here. I'm still bugged that he ran, <laughs> that he got away from me. And he was a vulnerable to range, so... Oh, we still could have teleported to him with Shadow Strike, right? Yeah. I don't realize these things until it's too late. But it wouldn't be me if I didn't derp it up every now and again. Oh, oh, hi guys. I don't know where you're running, but you guys just keep on running. Now that we know what we're dealing with, invade the beast hunt to weaken Sauron's army. Ooh, that's a lot of kitties. And a lot of Uruks. Are there any? Nope. Okay, that is a lot of archers. And we're just going to thin the ranks as best we can. We'll leave our Corruptor with all of these kitties. Now, don't get me wrong, he one-shotted the kitties that we saw before. But I think he may get overwhelmed here. He doesn't have a whole lot of friends left. Let's... Oh, I heard a dead kitty. Let's get some elf shot here. Before we have to interfere. And let's go ahead and... Oh, I have no focus. Focus needs more focus. Yep. My lads couldn't bear the fire you brought, but you won't get away so easy this time. If it's just you and me and the kitties, I think we're in good shape. See, the kitties are kind of on my side. Ah, uh, no, bad kitty. Nice. 
He got old school beheaded. And that is a diff and that's a good amount of power as well. Okay, now that it's just us. Dare we? What you gonna do? Was it Shadow Mount? There you go, little trooper. Oh! Some works went to take a look at our handiwork. It's alright though, because we escaped unscathed. Ah, oh, we just ran out of elf shot. It's gonna shoot that fire. It's alright though. Can we actually take our Karagor? Ah, oh, no, we can't. Alright, kitty. This is where. Go feast. Or he's just running away, which is okay. Actually, I hear screaming. Oh, I think, yeah, he finally, he died. Rest in peace, kitty. But a fair bit of work today. I mean, we cleared out an entire zone, and we didn't let one guy get the better of us, so that's always good. In the next episode, I'm not sure whether we will be going for the Great White Grog or getting back to business with the Black Captains. I'm not sure. But um, either way, it should be pretty fun, guys. Thank you for joining me today. If you guys liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.